Hello, this is Dr. Vidya T.S., Consultant Dermatologist, Sagar Hospital. Today I am going to talk to you about the most common and the most uh, self-treated condition of the skin, acne vulgaris. We say acne vulgaris, vulgaris means it is very common. So a lot of patients come to you saying I have acne, if I say no it's not acne, they say no it is pimples. So acne, pimples, zits, they are all the same conditions known by different names. So people think that acne comes only in teenagers. No, we have something called as infantile acne. You can see acne in infants, that is because of the maternal hormones in the child. Then you can get hormonal, that is when you, the adolescence, that is the teenage acne. When the hormonal activities start taking place in the body, the hormones activate the sebaceous glands, that is the oil glands. So when these oil gland secretions block the, what we call it as a pilosebaceous unit, the hair and the oil gland unit, because of the oily secretion, also infection by the bacteria which causes acne, that is acne, propionibacterium bacterium acne and the dead skin, the dead cells all around, it clogs the pore and causes an acne. So in acne, we have so many kinds of lesions. It's not, some people say, I don't have pus, so it is not acne, it is not like that. So you have various kinds of lesions. So we classify them as primary lesions and then secondary lesions. Primary lesions are just the small red uh, uh, swellings on the face, that is the small Pas papules what we call, pustules when they are filled with pus or we have comedones that is the blackheads and the whiteheads. The second then you have nodules, then you have cysts also, all this comes under the primary lesions that is how the acne starts. Secondary lesions are when the patients has manipulated the acne, squeezed it out, pinched it out, scratched the acne, done home remedies, packs, all those things. So these come under secondary uh, lesions. So there is a treatment changes. Lot of parents think that this is very common in teenage and they say it will go away. As you grow up, it will go away. If you don't treat it early, you can end up with scars. Though we have treatment for scars also, prevention is always better than cure. So treat your acne early so that you don't come back with scars. So when we say early, again we grade the acne. We have grades like 1, 2, 3 and 4. So where the number of lesions, the kind of lesions and the extent wherever it is involved is very important. Lot of people think acne is only on the face. Acne can be there in all the areas where you have the sebaceous activity, face, chest, back and arms. So these are all the areas where you can get acne. So once we grade the acne, we decide whether you need just a topical antibiotic or whether you need an oral antibiotic, you need keratolytics to remove the blackheads and whiteheads or you need vitamin A derivatives to treat acne. So that the dermatologist can decide whether what kind of treatment you need. So acne is not one blanket treatment suits all. So what suits you may not suit your friend. That is why we say don't treat yourself or treat others as soon as you know that patient has acne too. Come to the doctor. So when we start the treatment, we see that the blackheads and whiteheads are removed. Even when you go to a parlor for treatment, these people without knowing what it is, they remove the blackheads, whiteheads, open and closed comedones. So when you pinch a lesion, how much of the material comes out can go inside and make it a bigger pimple also. So avoid doing that. We make a nick open and remove the whiteheads. So when you treat acne, it is not a must that a lot of people come and say don't give me steroids. We do not give steroids for acne and we do not give steroids for infection. You should remember this. Home remedies, does it really help? Home remedies don't help at all in acne. Whatever people ask you to put on the face as antioxidants, I would say just eat it. Come to the doctor, take treatment, avoid scars. If you have scars also, there are various kinds of treatment like chemical peels, dermabrasion, microneedling, lasers, all this which can treat your acne. There are a lot of people who think only on the face it has to be treated, rest of the body it not necessarily be treated. It is a cosmetic problem. It again involves your quality of life. If you can look good with just a simple treatment, why not? Thank you. Thank you.